tried a couple things and I was not feeling inspired because I am an overachiever and I want to use all of the words. And then I took Freitas' class. So what comes next is Freitas' fault. <laughs> Great. And disclaimer, the first verse was written as a group effort in her class. So the first six lines are not. In spring we see the beautiful flowers. On the wind we hear buzzing from the bees. From glowering clouds descend the first rains. The land rejoices in the soaking showers. Breaking through the clouds, life enjoys the sun. And from their boughs, the trees send forth their buds. What secrets lie within those growing buds, waiting to paint the fields with festive flowers? A waving rainbow underneath the sun. Between tulip and crocus wander bees. Until the intrusion of sudden showers, each cloud a dancer heralding the rains. New pools are formed now in torrential rains. A rook calls loudly, summoning his buds. A joyous clamor causing feather showers, carefully pecking at blackberry flowers, and cheerfully mocking the fearful bees who only consent to fly in the sun. The gloaming thickens, we have lost the sun. Earthen fields all mud as it rains and rains. The ducks and geese, the only glad babies. From autumn's graves grow dandelion buds, and I recall the consequence of flowers. I sneeze and sneeze under cottonwood showers. <laughs> Just when we think we're safe from snow showers, they blot out all memory of warm sun, burying again the purple flowers. It seems winter has taken back the rains. The trees wonder if they will lose their buds, and winter's slumber summons back the bees. I hope for fruit, but fear the sting of bees. The leaky roof flows like indoor showers. I prick my skin, checking for berry buds. My cheeks are tender and pink from the sun. The rivers flood with the unceasing rains, and rabbits are feasting on my flowers. So let the bees celebrate the flowers, as thawing ground soaks up showers and rains. A brief time of buds leads to summer sun. Thank you.